to celebrate the official launch of Windows 11 version 22H2 and its departure from the inside the preview only phase of the development process. Today, we are going to look at how to use Rufus 3.20 and above to create installation USBs that will bypass not only all the requirements, but also all the setup steps necessary in a normal Windows 11 installation process. So without further ado, let's hop into Rufus and see what's new in the software. To be clear, Rufus 3.21 is here and it can be used for the process. But I'm using 3.20 because for the purposes of the video, for all that we are doing today, Rufus 3.20 does the job nicely. So the USB creation process here in Rufus is the same as always. Just give the driver name and glance over all the other options that Rufus has pre-selected for you. They should be correct, but correct them if they are not. After which you can click start. And now you'll be greeted with this menu with all the options to skip either the requirements or some set of processes that we'll encounter when during a normal Windows 11 installation. So the first prompt skips TPM 2.0 secure boot, that's the requirement. And also the second prompt, which skips the online Microsoft account requirement. Starting from the third, however, are ones that are not present in previous Rufus versions. So these allow you to skip the security questions, that's prompt number three. And prompt number four and five allows you to skip the language and region setup processes. After checking all that, we can now click OK and begin the USB creation process. Now that we have our installation media ready, let's head on into a new VM to install Windows 11. This phase of Windows installation is heavily bottlenecked by the speed of your USB. So depending on the speed of your media, your waiting time may vary. Once on this screen, just treat it like any Windows 11 installation. Now here's where the magic happens. Instead of having the user click through menus themselves, selecting their language, location, username, blah blah blah, Windows installation just does it automatically for you. And we are here on our desktop. As you can see from the user profile, the username is the same as the local username I used for my previous VM where we created this Windows installation media. As you can see, this is a perfectly normal Windows 11 virtual machine. We did not take out any features whatsoever by skipping the security questions and Microsoft account integration. With that said, this video is effectively over. If you liked it, please don't hesitate to give a like and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.